Hi guys, so currently one of the most popular videos on my channel is a tutorial I recorded about 2-3 years ago teaching you guys how to delete your Discord messages. Obviously there's been a lot of updates since then, so I'll be walking you guys how to do this in 2024. And in my opinion, the process got much better and much easier, much more secure. So yeah, I'll jump straight in. So first you're going to need this extension called Tamper Monkey. And this, this is uh, it's similar to many other Chrome extensions, which basically just allow you to execute JavaScript code, custom, your own custom code. So I'm going to add to extension. And by the, it's not harmless at all, obviously, because you're the one who's putting code into it. So unless you want to put like some online video game cheat or something, that's the only way it could be harmless. But either way, you are able to see all your code that you put in Capri Monkey. So now once you add this, go to the link in the description and go to this, which basically is a source code for this program called Undiscord. And if you are suspicious about the code, go ahead and look through it. It's 1,500 lines of JavaScript code. And I'm just gonna click install this script and it should automatically install or it should ask me to install. It'll give us a, con a confirmation and show us all the code again. I'll click install and it should be installed into Tamper Monkey. And to make sure it is installed into Tamper Monkey, you can go to, click on your little icon over here in the top right and click on dashboard. And in dashboard, you're able to see Undiscord, which is a new entry you now have. And you can scroll through the code, you can modify it, you can delete it, do whatever you want with it. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on Discord. So make sure you, you, you refresh your um, Discord page once you have the extension installed. So over here, you should now see a trash icon. Previously, you saw all these icons except the trash icon. So I'm gonna click on the trash icon now, and this is the Undiscord interface. So, uh, so basically you can delete messages now from DMs, from servers, all types of messages. And you can also delete certain messages, certain messages. So for example, if you want to delete, um, like a certain word that is contained in your messages, maybe like, pa like the word password, cause maybe you send your passwords in a message and you would delete all instances where you send your password in a message. You could be able to filter it using this function. And I'll show you guys how to use that in a bit, but right here. Um, all you want to do is click me current and this should autofill for you. It just gets your information for you. Otherwise it wants you to input it either for yourself or for someone else. And this is very important. Once you click me and current, go down to advanced settings, click on advanced settings and then click fill. And this should automatically get your authorization token and then go to date interval or sorry, messages interval, and then click pick, uh, this message. And actually, I'm just going to delete this completely. Delete the messages interval and make sure it looks like this afterward, where it's after a message pick and before a message pick. Make sure it's empty, basically. Um, this is for deleting all of your messages. Obviously, you can set these intervals to maybe like August 5th or something, and it'll delete all the messages up to August 5th. It's, it's pretty smart if you guys don't want to delete all your messages, but just like a certain time period of messages. But yeah, and uh, excuse me. And then, uh, yeah, so now all these settings are set. All we did was click fill. We deleted the interval messages, if there was any, and we just clicked me and current. Now you wanna make sure you're in your current um, chat, your private DM, and just click delete, and it should, should give you a preview of all the messages it wants to delete. So I had sent around nine messages over here in the chat right here, and I'll just click delete and click okay, and you'll see them start getting deleted in real time. And of course you can speed this up or make it faster as well. But the recommended settings always work the best without getting you like, um, like bot checked. It'll be like, what, what is this automated deleting? Is this, it's taking too long? But yeah, so you can put this down, put this up, however you want. And it seems like it's, yeah, okay. The search light is very, very, uh, very, very slow. So I would put it down to like 1000 milliseconds. But either way, you can see all nine messages have been um, deleted and that's perfect. So that's how you do it for DMs. And obviously if you want to filter it by word, you can do that as well. So I'm going to say my, the word I don't want to say is blob. And then I say blob, blob, blob. Probably do this like 5,000 more times. And this is not blurb, okay? And so if, if we filter the word blob right here, it should delete all the messages containing blob other than, yeah, all the messages containing blob. So not blurb or the first one. So I'll type here blob. And now I'll click delete and it should give delete zero messages failed. Hold on, hold on. The delete only messages that contain this tag. So let's, let's reset the settings real quick. Let's put this at 3,500 and we'll, we'll click current me again. And now I'll click delete. 
And yeah, there it goes. Okay, so we, you do have to re-click the buttons every single time you do it, which is fine. It's literally three clicks. And it says, are you want to delete nine messages? Give us a preview of the messages. And okay. And now all the messages with blob inside of it should start deleting. And it won't delete anything else. So there you go. Eight. All done. All right. Perfect. Now I'll stop this. And that's how you filter messages. And now you can also do it in servers as well. So um, I did the same thing here, but now a new word is blob. Now, whenever you enter a new DM or a new server, you want to re-click all these buttons. So I'm gonna click me, server ID, and as you can see, it changed over here. Channel ID changes as well. And uh, I guess click authorization token just in case. And let's say that I want to, um, let's say I wanna get rid of the word blub. Okay, blub. And uh, let's see, and it's the same process applies. I think all the settings are set. And I just click delete. And it says this challenge isn't indexed yet. Okay, there it goes. Might wait a few seconds. That's literally like 0 0.5 seconds. I'm like, what is going on? But here it is. It gives a preview of the four blob messages we sent in this server. Click OK. And bam. All the messages we sent containing blob in this server start to get deleted. And obviously, it's not registering my 748 for some reason. But it registered all the ones from before. Possibly because I just sent it like 30 seconds before doing so. But just, just for curiosity's sake, let's see if it... Um, it sees, or maybe I have to refresh it. Okay, yeah, I probably have to refresh it. If anything is not updated, or you see messages not being deleted, just refresh the page. It's all JavaScript based and uh, client based, so these bugs can easily just happen. But yeah, it's pretty much all. And obviously, you can you don't need to filter anything. You can just delete all the messages. So current me, fill, and delete. And all these messages should be getting deleted, except for blob, obviously, which hasn't registered because we haven't refreshed the page. But yeah, bam, okay. So that's pretty much it, we'll click stop. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Let me know if this guide, uh, um, this, if this guide helped because a lot of you guys are commenting on the video that I posted two years ago and was actually recorded like three to four years ago. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching.